Hey friends, so here's some interesting food for thought for you and something that you may want to take some pretty good action on for yourself and your family. So I'm going to be helping my mom out a lot in the very near future. Well, I have been for a while, but just, I guess, in a different way. Well, I'm cleaning out my house, moving a bunch of stuff to my mom's house. And so I also started Uber and Lyft driving a while back, which every dollar I get from that driving with Uber and Lyft, I put into my affordable housing project. I've never spent or saved any of it for myself. I can afford to do that. And now I'm doing this and it's like, oh boy, I haven't made any money from Lyft and Uber. What the heck? Well, of course I haven't. I'm not driving, so I can't get paid if I'm not showing up. So it's like a job, similar to a job, right? If you stop showing up, you stop getting paid, and then you can't live. I'm like, well, this is really cool. I'm able to be there for my mom, but something's missing, my income. Oh, wait, no, it's not. <laughs> and here's the part that gets really interesting. So over a decade ago, I started to change course, shift gears in the quality of money that I was working to make. So I started learning about residual money, you know, the kind that shows up and can pay you for the rest of your life versus you show up once, you get paid once, you got to show up again to get paid again and show up again to get paid again. So that's what I began building over 10 years ago and it took me two and a half years of doing it in my spare time, which I had no time, just something to figure out, something to learn and doing it uh, with no income and no subsidies from the government because I didn't qualify for food stamps or any kind of help at all. So those are massive problems I had to solve. So then it's like, okay, well now so many years later, <laughs> over a decade later, um, I can like do what I need to do, be there for my mom and be there for you know my dad when he was still physically with us and do what I need to do. And I'm gonna be taken off for a couple weeks here tomorrow morning to go on a cruise and to go to Vegas and to go to a few other multi-destinational places. But the uh, Lyft and Uber thing, that's not gonna pay me while I'm gone. And I don't have a job, but I have all that residual and passive money that's gonna continue to cover me anyway. And that's the difference. That's the difference between being chained and shackled to money and not being chained and shackled to money. So that's why I harp on that all the time so that I can be there for my parents. I can take a trip. I can do whatever I need to do and put all my energy and heart into creating these experiences and having the freedom to do what I want when I want rather than worrying about how bills are gonna be paid. So my whole agenda, and and telling this to you is to inspire you who want to be inspired and who like learning something new outside of what you already know. So once you love learning something new outside of what you already know, then time constraints is just something you learn about and figure out. And money constraints become something you just figure out because you want to learn something that you don't already know. Having no skills becomes a perfect reason to start learning so you get some skills. Pretty awesome, right? So that's that was my only saving grace in the beginning because I had no skills, I had no background in it, had no time, no income. I had a lot of stuff working against me, but I was eager to learn. I wanted to learn much more than I knew, more than what I thought I knew. And a big part of learning something new for me as well as for you, let's be honest here, forthcomingly honest, let's be aggressively honest, at least half the learning battle for you is gonna be to criticize what you think you know that you're dead wrong. Some really horrible self-sabotaging beliefs and philosophies you have that I had as well. And that's a process. I'm sure I've still got some, but they're not nearly what they were over a decade ago when I first got started on this journey. So between learning new things all together and then self-criticizing some really bad beliefs about what I thought I knew, that was my saving grace. And it will be for you too, for you who are certainly open to that. <laughs> so if you want to see what I did and what I'm still doing, 10 years plus and counting, just private message me, I'll show you what I'm doing. And if you see it as a really good fit for you and you're eager to learn something beyond what you already know, then we'll, we'll do it. I'll welcome you to my team. And um, I got my own community here on Facebook and some closed groups that, uh, that everyone gets connected to and brainstorms with. and endless trainings. Just me, myself, I've created endless trainings. Hey, I've been doing it for over a decade, so it adds up. So I've got everybody covered for whatever people's learning styles are. Some people on my team like to learn by watching videos, and by demonstration, by reading something, by books, by audio, by gosh, whatever, whatever it takes. I've got everybody covered for whatever the learning style is. Just 
just be hungry to learn uh, outside of what you already know and there's no reason you can't put the guarantee in, into yourself to learn and figure it out and do it with us. So I'll hear from some of you soon via private message. And that's all I got for you for right now. Okay? Bye for now. And what word can I close with? I have no idea. Love to you all, and I'll hear from you soon. Bye for now. Mwah.